All right, guys, so I have my little girl out here, my little Arctic albino head snow. Um, so in this video, I just wanna quickly talk about a hog nose bite. Now, have I ever been get, gotten bitten by hog nose? Yes, I have, multiple times. And as you see, a little bite right there, that was today by my adult male, actually. Um, I was wearing a glove and I was going in, trying to pick up his poop, and he ended up just crazily going straight to it and biting me. So, <laughs> um, again, it wasn't too bad because I know what to do. So this is something I want to talk about. Um, are hog nose bites bad? Uh, for me, they're not. Um, I don't feel any pain. It's just more of an irritation after. It was just like itchy. I didn't even feel a bite. But what you want to do is, um, you see a little nostril skull they have there? Um, you want to just like get it and like when they're biting you, just lift it up and they'll let go. You know, that roster skull is strong because this is what they use for digging. They use head, they use this for head butting, all that stuff. It's a really strong scale. So um, that's one thing you guys have to know. Like the only reason you'll get sw a swollen hand or something is if you like let them chew on you for like about four or five minutes. Um, that's when you get enough in them for it to swell. But for me, I've gotten bitten multiple times and I haven't had any swelling so far. So hopefully I don't ever. But um, that's one thing you guys have to be aware of that these snakes bite you because they feel the hunger, you know? Um, it's not because they want to bite you. They usually don't do that. Uh, so again, it was my fault. I just opened, went in because it smelled. So I just wanted to pull it out quickly and that was my thing. So um, again, my fault, <laughs> but that was my adult male conda. Um, as you've seen him in my other videos, he is a pretty larger snake. So again, the bite wasn't bad. It was just itchy. But I, what I did, it was after, you know, just squeezed out the blood and then washed my hands and then sanitized. So that's one thing you want to do to avoid any potential swelling so you can take out all the venom. But if, if one thing I do say, guys, is um, don't run them underwater. Don't put alcohol or all that stuff you hear online. That's not a good method to take the bites out. Like, honestly, if you just lift up the Russell scale, um, they'll try to chew harder but you can easily just lift it up and pull it out, you know? And they'll eventually know it's not food and they will give it up. So um, that's one thing I want you guys to know. Um, it's The snake's the bites aren't that bad from hog noses. Um, they're not great, they're itchy, but that's just about it. They don't hurt when he was biting me. It didn't hurt at all. Um, and it wasn't a big deal. He was only biting me for, he was only like trying to chew for like 15 seconds and I got to pull him out because I know how to do it. So again, just pull out the little nostril skull. Don't do it too hard where you're gonna damage them or hurt them. Just like slowly lift it up and they should come off. Again, don't try doing the whole water method or alcohol or you know Listerine, whatever you see online because that could take longer and it's not gonna work. And eventually they're gonna get that venom inside you and your hand's gonna swell up. So um, yeah, that's pretty much all I wanna talk about. If you guys liked the video, please like, share, and subscribe. I will be posting videos probably in a week or so. I am getting new snakes, so. Um, I am not paying for them. That's the good thing. Um, so <laughs> I'll say the whole story till then. But again, thank you guys for watching. If you liked the video, please like, share, and subscribe. If you want to see more pictures of my beautiful, gorgeous hog noses, then go follow me at OC underscore hog noses in Instagram and see the pictures there. Um, so yeah, again, thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys in the next video.